Hello everyone. Good evening, all of you. How are all of you? <clears throat> How are all of you doing? All right. So we'll be starting the segment on the daily news events or the daily current affairs in this video, and this is basically a recap of the whole week, right? <laughs> Just give me a second to begin it. All right. So, how are all of you doing? So, the purpose of this video is to make it all recap for you. That is, revise all the week's news events in front of you. Ajit, Sharat, wonderful to see you. All right. So keep it more interactive, as I would say, uh, because this section is more or less in a uh, question form, right? It is more of in a question form. So uh, we'll be talking more and more on the uh, number of questions, and we'll be discussing about the MCQs. All right, just give me one second. All right, so um, I'm really sorry about the delay. There was just some uh, thing that needed to be taken care of. All right, so now we are starting in the question round, and it will be really wonderful if all of you also participate because when you people participate in a segment, that's when the session becomes more and more interesting, right? And uh, you know, it becomes an interesting on my part also that I'll be asking more and more questions. We'll be talking more and more, and we'll be discussing. We'll be discussing more and more news events. Right. If you want more and more discussion, you have to participate more and more. Right. So, first question: What is the required minimum duration of stay in India for an NRI or a non-resident Indian to be considered as resident of India as per Companies Corporation Second Amendment Rule 2021? Now, these amendments have been announced in the budget this year. Right. We all know for the financial year 21 in the budget announcement, this there were certain changes that were made. Made by Ministry of Corporate Affairs, right? So, as per the amendments that have been done, the number of uh, or the duration of the stay that is required for an NRI has been reduced. What is the new day number of days, and what was the old number of days? Uh, Ajit, for that you will have to keep in touch with um, about till November at least. That's the minimum. I would say that November, December, January, February you have to keep in touch, and especially all the you already know you need to be more aware about the RBI news events that are taking place. Especially in uh, you know in December and January there were a lot. Of news events and happenings that were announced by RBI, and you have to keep in touch with all of them. They're very important, right? Right. So, all right. <clears throat> Sharath, yes. Last six months is like if you're asking for a minimum amount. Minimum is four months. Now, once you have done those four months, then you go to the next two months or the previous two months. So, first your priority should be the uh, first four months, and then you have to go to the backward day, months. Right now, answer for this question: It has been reduced to how many days? Quick answers, all of you. One eighty-six days. All right. There are a few answers over here. Come on, quickly. See, uh, the more you answer, the more it is going to help all of you. Right, that is as I say, the number of days has been reduced to one twenty days. Earlier, now from the past number of days, from one eighty two days, one eighty two was the earlier number of days, right? So earlier it was one eighty uh, one eighty two actually, not one eighty six. One eighty two was the initial number of days, and then it has been reduced to one twenty days, right? Now, what? How is it going to help? 
it is going to help them set up startup in india that is once they live for 120 days they can set up their own company or one person company which we say in india earlier they were required to stay for 180 days next recently cabinet committee on economic affairs has given approval for 100 percent strategic disinvestment of india's government share in which of the following companies so recently 100 percent this is disinvestment has been announced in which of the following company by ccea or has been approved by ccea for that purpose So, which of the following companies approval has been given for 100% strategic disinvestment? Now, government is doing disinvestment in a lot of organizations and a lot of companies uh, because this budget has been announced that a lot of disinvestment purposes are going to take place. There are four sectors which have been identified on which we have taken, uh, I guess, in the last two or three days current affairs uh, video, which we do on daily basis. And that I had talked about the four sectors which have been identified and on those four sectors the government is going to carry on the disinvestment purposes so for detail of all of that you will have to watch the everyday current affairs right uh, Ajit see uh, the more number of questions you practice the more you will remember right this is a basic um, you know it's a psychological fact that once you understand when, once you have read the theory you can't remember the whole book but when you're explaining something when you're remembering that exact information that is what remains in the memory for a longer term period of time so you'll have to practice more questions you'll have to be more participative take more quizzes and with those quizzes, it is, it's going to help you enhance the memory of the important information, right? So you can take quiz on entry app. We have everyday live quiz over there. Then we have weekly quiz that is uploaded over here. We have daily current affairs for your everyday discussion as well to keep those things running in your mind. And once those are running in your mind, you'll be having them in your memory for a longer period of time. Answer for this question. It is Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited or RINL. Now, RINL is one of those in which 100% strategic disinvestment has been announced or the Indian government is going to completely move away or sell all of its share or complete privatization, which we say. Now, disinvestment means privatization, right? Or it is opening up the shares to all the sectors that anyone can purchase them. So that is a disinvestment thing. And for RINL right now, it has been approved by CCEA, Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Right? All right. Then, Maritime Union of India urged the Ministry of Shipping to take note of NEP June declaration while preparing the Maritime India Vision 2030. What is the key focus of Neptune declaration? What was the key focus of Neptune declaration? So what exactly is a Neptune declaration as we are asking over here is what exactly is a Neptune declaration concerned with? What is a Neptune declaration concerned with? Just give me one second, right? It's just one second. There is a certain change that needs to be done. So just a second that I make those changes in the slide and then we'll be going ahead, right? Till then you can be answering the questions. All right, answers. Uh, option C only, that is guided fishing approaches. All right, one of the few answers have come up. What is Neptune Declaration concerned with? Now, Neptune Declaration uh, is basically of uh, is concerned with Maritime Union of India, as we have already seen. So, therefore, it is somewhere related to, you know, ocean or sea or something. So, if we talk about what exactly is it prepared for, it is preparing India for welfare of seafarers or those who are dependent on sea for their, uh, you know, daily life. That is... Uh, that is the welfare of seafarers on that. So, Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways uh, 
has been urged to by maritime union of india to take note of the neptune declaration on seafarer well being and crew change right and the india's india's purpose has been first of all last budget was about you know making or creating a blue economy right and now we also have a vision for maritime india vision 2030 so we are working towards that also we are uh, working towards blue economy also Now you have to remember both of them. We are working towards both of them: blue economy also and maritime India vision as well. Now, uh, as for the declaration, if we talk about for seafarers, so for seafarers, there is a United Nations declaration as well, right? So what is that declaration now? That was a declaration which was signed by United Nations General Assembly or approved by United Nations General Assembly, and uh, when was it adopted? adopted that was 1st of december 2020 there was a declaration which was adopted by united nations general assembly which also concerns the welfare of seafarers next what is promoted through the switch delhi campaign the switch delhi campaign has been started recently uh, and that was started by the chief minister of delhi so first of all who is the chief minister of delhi and second of all uh, switch delhi campaign is concerned with which of the following mm -hmm. what is switch delhi campaign concerned with answers we have something from delhi that is a very important news event as well because it brings in something very good to the table all right we have a few answers going for option c electric vehicles that is right switch delhi campaign is concerned with electric vehicles that is uh, making all of those people or uh, people of delhi to move or switch towards electric vehicles more and more so already delhi had started or De um, you can say government of delhi had already launched electric vehicle policy for the purpose that uh, you know electric vehicles should be promoted so for that you know giving a uh, you know relaxation on taxes and everything was given under electric vehicle policy mm -hmm. and now to bring in more infrastructure to the table for uh, electric vehicles government of delhi has also uh, started a switch delhi campaign right now what is the target of this so the target is 25% of electric vehicles in delhi by 2024 so the target year is 2024 and the target if we talk about is about making 25% to vehicles on the streets of delhi to be electric vehicle right now moving to the next question who recently appointed as the president of asian cricket council sharat uh, what exactly is different what exactly like is it a good different or a bad different if that can be confirmed then we can talk further about it who was recently appointed as president of asian cricket council recently uh, president of asian cricket council has been appointed who has been appointed who has been appointed as president of asian cricket council quick answers <coughs> Asian Cricket Council president who has been appointed now the answer of this question is going to be the secretary of bcci so who is the current secretary of bcci all right sir thank you and uh, well that's the purpose of the channel right bring in more new things rather than the regular ones right secretary of bcci now who is the secretary of bcci that is jaisha now jaisha had like concerning this question already in last few papers of various examinations was seen now the uh, thing is that he has been appointed as president of asian cricket council also apart from being the secretary of bcci right 
Now, who is he going to replace or who was the earlier occupant of the position? So, the chief of Bangladesh Cricket Board, who was that? Chief of Bangladesh Cricket Board was Najmul Hassan Papon. So, he was the chief of Bangladesh Cricket Board and he was earlier president of Asian Cricket Council who has now been replaced by Jay Shah, right? Next one. What was the total medal count of India at the first Asian Online Shooting Championship, which was held in January 2021? So, total medal count of India in Asian Online Shooting Championship held in January 2021. And where is it held? Yeah, that is also a very important question. Where is that being held? Asian Online Shooting Championship, it was held in January 2021. Where was it held? What was the venue of this championship? What was the venue of the championship? Quick answers. All right, all right. See, that is something. See, there can be more value that can be added to the session. But for that, you will have to, you know, share the video, like the video, uh, comment more because that's when, you know, we become... Even I become, uh, you know, interested in explaining more and more and bringing more questions. So, to bring that interest, you also have to participate equally. So, share the video, like the video, so that more and more people join in the session. Answer for this question, the total medal count was 11. So, India's medal count was 11 in the Asian Online Shooting Championship. Where was this championship organized? It was in Kuwait. Right. So, uh, this was the first Asian Online Shooting Championship and who had organized it? It was Kuwait Shooting Federation. They organized it in Kuwait. India had 24 members representing, there were 24 members of shooting which were representing India in that. Now, there were certain winners of certain category which you need to know the name of. Certain names that you need to know is Saurabh Chaudhary, Divyansh Singh Pawar. So, Saurabh Chaudhary, uh, you know, question relating to him have been asked a lot of times. So, you need to know about that. For women's tab, Rajeshwari Kumari is a very important name. And these names, how do how can the examiner ask you? They'll simply give you the name and they'll be asking you that the person is associated with which game. So, you have to know which game are they associated with. Right? Now, which was the book published by International Olympic Committee recently that outlines the responsibility to ensure safe and successful Olympic and Paralympic Games? So, recently a book has been published by International Olympic Committee and the book is about how successfully and safely Olympic and Paralympic Games need to be organized. What is the name of the book? Here, there can be two possible questions for all of you. One possibility is that they can ask, give you the name of the book and they can ask you who has written the book. Second possibility can be that they can ask you the name of the book by giving every other detail like we have in this question, right? So, quickly, the two possibilities, so you need to know both of them, like you have to have the link between the name of the book and the organization. So, answers, anyone would take any guess over it, like any rough guess, the wildest guess you can think of. All right. The answer of this question is going to be playbook. Playbook is the name of the book that has been published by International Olympic Committee. First question. Second question, what is playbook about? It is about the uh, conducting Olympic and Paralympic Games successfully. Third, the possible question can be as it is in front of you. That is the name of the book can be asked. Right. Give your wildest guess. Even if you don't know the answer, it's not an issue. The thing is that you are participating in the segment. So give your wildest guess. The first guess you get through once you see the question that can also be considered. At least it shows that you are listening. So when is World Cancer Day observed annually or uh, which date is also observed as World Cancer Day? When is World Cancer Day observed and when is National Cancer Day observed? 
when is national cancer day observed and when is world cancer day observed and if you know the theme of this this year's world cancer day you are most welcome to answer that 4th of february usha sharath rosalyn pratik durgan all right we have a few answers 4th of february that's right 4th of february is world cancer day when is national cancer day and what was the theme of world cancer day so if we talk about the theme of world cancer day now there are two themes that are running first is for 2021 for 2021 we have i am and i will right for 2021 specifically if we ask that is i am and i will now there is a long term theme also which is running for world cancer day so what is that theme running for that is for 2019 to 2021 we have a combined theme also and that is i am and i will so i am and i will is for 2021 also for this also but what is the difference now this is the same i am and i will i am and i will both of them have same now 2021 has something specific in that and what is the specificity that is together all our actions matter together all our actions matter right this is the specificity for 2021 whereas for 2019 to 2021 we have the same theme running i am and i will now we come to national cancer day november 7th sharad that is perfectly right 7th of november is celebrated as national cancer day and Uh, you know coincidentally it is also the anniversary birth anniversary of marie curie right so it is also birth anniversary of marie curie coincidentally then we have a can breast cancer month or cancer month that is october so october is for cancer month national cancer day 7th of november and world cancer day 4th of february next where was india's first center for wetland conservation and management recently established by uh, ministry of environment science so answer for this question where was india's first center of wetland conservation and management established so the first question is where the second subsequent question can be related to the part that who has the ministry so who currently has the ministry of environment forest and climate change or mofc moefcc who currently has the ministry or who is the union minister of the same Yeah, seventh is International Cancer Day. That's right, Usha. All right, Rosalyn, Usha, Sharath. We have Tamil Nadu. That's right. Chennai, Tamil Nadu is the one where the first center for wetland conservation has been established by Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. Right. Now, uh, it is a part of National Center for Sustainable Coastal Management (NCSM) Institute. It's a part of that. Now, it was launched on World Wetland Day, right? So now the question is: When is World Wetland Day observed? When do we see World Wetland Day? When is World Wetland Day observed? who currently has the ministry of environment forest and climate change and when is world wetland day observed quick answers that seems like quite a silence long going silence all right the answers now not dr harshwardhan dr harshwardhan has health ministry he has earth science but he does not have environment ministry environment ministry is with prakash javedkar prakash javedkar has a ministry of environment now ministry of health science ministry of earth science both of them are under dr harshwardhan environment and for environment and environmental conservation and forest science that is with prakash javedkar now we have world wetland day 3rd of february one possibility has is on the table or in the comment section 
The right answer for this is one day behind. That is 2nd of February. On 2nd of February, we have World Wetland Day. Now, for International Conservation of Wetland, International Conservation of wetland for international conservation of wetland we have a treaty and that is also known uh, which was signed in Ramsar so we sometimes call it as Ramsar site so that was an international uh, convention on conservation of wetlands that is for international level and for national level we have set up our own at Chennai Tamil Nadu. Now, which organization is responsible for operation and maintenance of Punjab's first central water treatment plant set up at village Dodhar of Moga district for 10 years? Which organization is responsible for operation and maintenance of Punjab's first central water treatment plant set up in Dodhar of Moga district for 10 years? All right. Yeah, minus one was required. All right. If we go for the organization on that part, the project has been developed by LNT, Larson and Torbo. LNT is the one which is responsible for Punjab's first central water treatment plant. And this now here you need to know where it has been set up. That is in Dodar in Punjab. What in how many villages? In about 85 villages, it has been set up. Right. And the purpose is to provide clean drinking water. Right, that is the purpose or the reason why this has been set up. Now, uh, there is a scheme which is being run by Jal Shakti Ministry that is to provide portable water to everybody. You may be asked about that. That is the target year of that. You may be asked about who has the Ministry of Jal Shakti. You may be asked about the first Har Ghar Jal state. That is also possible. That is Goa. So, the first Hargar Jal state can be asked. These are a possible set of questions that can be asked from you. Now, Federal Bank Limited launched Fed First, which is a special savings account. Who will be benefited through this initiative? Fed First has been launched by Federal Bank Limited, which is a special savings account. Who among the following is going to be benefited from this account? Fed first is of which of the following bank? Quick answers. Just give me one second, kids. Just one second, right? All right. Now answers for this question. Fed first. Now Fed first has been set up. A Fed first is a special savings account for children that has been uh, set up by Federal Bank Limited. Or um, now what is the purpose? It is for those children for up to the age of eighteen, and it is for both resident also for NRIs also. So the design is for children. Children of what age? Children of the age of eighteen years or up to the age of eighteen years. So. Up to the age of 18 years, it has been established. Then for whom has it been established? For residents also, for NRIs also. Both of them are going to be benefited from it, right? And in this, there is also going to be a contactless. This is very important for all the banking aspirants. These banking questions, you have to be aware about them. The contactless debit card facility has also been given under this account. Right now, how much daily withdrawal is permitted under this? Since it is especially for children, a daily limit has been set up at 2500. Right, this is the daily limit which has been set up. 
नेक्स्ट विच बैंक आईटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विल बी ऑडिटेड बाय अ स्पेशल ऑडिट टीम कंस्टिट्यूटिंग बाय प्रोफेशनल्स फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल आईटी फर्म्स अपॉइंटेड बाय आरबीआई सो आरबीआई हैज रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड अ स्पेशल ऑडिट टीम एंड दैट स्पेशल ऑडिट टीम इज यू नो गोइंग टू वर्क टुवर्ड्स ऑल द ऑडिट्स ऑफ द बैंक व्हाट इज गोइंग टू टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल द ऑडिट्स ऑफ द बैंक द क्वेश्चन हियर इज दैट which banks it infrastructure will be audited via this now if you people remember in hdfc they had given a you know rbi had given a temporary hold i guess we had talked about in uh, you know december weekly current affairs uh there was a temporary hold which was put on hdfc digital initiatives so hdfc was running a digital 2.0 initiative and under that uh, rbi had put a temporary hold on it now uh, since it was temporary now it needs to be reviewed again that is whether it should be continued whether hdfc can make more digital advancements or it cannot do that so for that purpose a special audit team has been set up for hdfc bank hdfc bank is going to be audited by this because we are talking about it infrastructure and it infrastructure was very poor of hdfc bank because there were lots and lots of options they opened but there were various various issues that were coming out of it so to resolve those issues to take accountability of that hdfc was on temporary hold and after that an audit team has been set up to check whether the thing has been rectified or there has been no rectification on that part now which state government has recently launched two schemes intellectual property rights scheme and quality testing and certification scheme to provide financial assistance to startups for filing it patents so for the intellectual property rights scheme two schemes have been launched so switch of the following state government is working towards increasing the number of uh, you know intellectual uh, property rights and patenting for that purpose two schemes have been launched one is for property rights scheme one is quality testing and certification scheme which of the following state has launched those schemes for it patents which of the following state has launched now for this if we go for the answer option a option a that goes for gujarat well no it is not gujarat which has been set up it is maharashtra maharashtra is one of the top states over here right so it is the top state uh like in, it comes in top 3 states in fact for the national innovation index now recently uh, there was national innovation index which was released it was released by niti ayog right so niti ayog had released a national innovation index in that in top 3 maharashtra was ranked second and to increase that part or you can say to uh, make it more enhancing on the part of how many patents are filed by i am people of maharashtra for that purpose and to elevate the ranking maharashtra has taken the step of launching these two schemes right now the top uh, among the top 3 states the top rank holder was karnataka obvious reasons karnataka had it topped in this and maharashtra was second in it there the question possibility can be first of all who released this national innovation index it is very important second of all rank of maharashtra third of all who topped the index and fourth of all the two schemes for it patents right next who became the new ceo of amazon after its founder jeff bezos stepped down recently so jeff bezos has stepped down from the, the position of ceo so who has become the new ceo of amazon so earlier jeff bezos who is also the founder of amazon he was the ceo now he has stepped down from the position so to whom has he given the position now all right we have 
a few answers quickly all of you answer answers on this part all right andy jesse that is right andy jesse has become the new ceo of amazon after the founder jeff bezos has stepped down right now jeff bezos will be taking the executive chair just like for uh, you know alphabet alphabet is the parent company of google so earlier the founders of google larry page and brian both of them were the ceo now uh, i guess last year it was that they stepped down and they gave the position to the ceo of google to take over as the ceo of alphabet also on the similar lines now amazon has also done the same thing that is the founder has stepped down he has taken the role of executive chair and the new ceo position have has been given to andy jesse right all right moving ahead what was the uh, which of the following word was named as hindi word of the year 2020 by oxford language so oxford has recently named the hindi word of the year which is the hindi word of the year as per oxford answers on that hindi word of the year by oxford quick answers most of you are going with option c that's wonderful that's wonderful option c atmanirbharta was chosen as the hindi word of the year by oxford now this was uh, one of the prominent ones especially after the times of covid we have seen atmanirbharta a lot of times we have atmanirbhar schemes also like schemes are starting with the term atmanirbharta so for that purpose uh, this word has been chosen it signifies a self reliance now where was national tribal festival adi mahotsav 2021 held so recently adi mahotsav was organized where was it organized where was national tribal festival adi mahotsav 2021 held where was national tribal festival adi mahotsav 2021 held who currently has the ministry of tribal affairs who currently has the ministry of tribal affairs now for tribal products we have a separate group which has been prepared by tribal affairs that is by the name trifed and that is something that you are not supposed to forget because there are lots of schemes that have been started by trifed to make tribal people more dependent on their own skill set right so for making them dependent on their own skill set uh, already ministry of uh, tribal affairs is doing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and of that we have is adi mahotsav as well all right quick answers <clears throat> the answer of this question is going to be new delhi New Delhi is the place where Adi Mahotsav was held, and the Vice President of India, that is Venkaiya Naidu, he had inaugurated it. So it was inaugurated by the Vice President of India, that being Venkaiya Naidu, and it was held in organized in New Delhi in Delhi Ha. Right now, where oh sorry, where we have seen about where it was held. Now, when it was held, when is from first to fifteenth of February. first 15 days of february or first to 15th of february we had this adi mahotsav being organized the next question which we have is about uh, ministry of tribal affairs who currently has it uh, sharad that is arjun munda that is right arjun munda currently has the ministry of tribal affairs next barbara pompi signed a letter of intent between SECI and AFD for development of 150 megawatt floating solar power plant she is minister of ecological transition of which of the following country now we are talking about country so who is barbara pompi the simple question that we uh, this question is asking you is who is barbara pompi or which country is she from letter of intent has been signed between SECI and AFD the question is she is the minister of ecological transition of which of the following country 
All right. Answers of this question quickly. All right. All right. We have a few answers. The right answer of this question is France. She is an uh, ecological transition minister of France and she was on a five-day visit recently. And during that, a letter of intent was signed for setting up a floating solar plant of about 150 megawatts. Right. Now, the world's largest solar plant is also being set up by India. Where? On Omkareshwar Dam. On Omkareshwar Dam, India is building the, uh, its largest solar power plant, floating solar power plant. So, over which river is this dam? That is important. On In which state it is there? So, it is an MP over Narmada River where Omkareshwar Dam is present, right? Next, how many products were recently added to minor forest produce under central government's scheme to receive minimum support price? So, how many products have been added recently under minimum support price by the, by the budget announcement as we had seen? So, minimum support price for minor forest produce. How many products have been added if we have a look at that? Quickly, how many products have been added? So the total now, uh, the new products that we talk about, there were 14 new products which have been added. Now there were already 49 items already present. So old 49 were present, then 14 more have been added, making it a total of 63. So total 63 products are there. Earlier 49 were there, 14 new have been added. Next. There was a five-day long event of India's biggest silk fair, which is 8th India International Silk Fair. Where was it held? India's biggest silk fair was held recently. Where was it organized? The so five-day long India's biggest silk fair was held recently. All right, we have answers over here. Do we have a issue, issue in the buffering segment? Because as I can see over here, I can see a certain buffering issue. But I'm not sure if that's only with me or is it happening with others as well. Just confirm me on that if there's any sort of issue that is happening over here. All right, we have a few answers. That is in the Indian Silk Fair's virtual platform. This event was organized virtually. and uh, now, here we have another question that is who currently has the Ministry of Women, Ministry of Women and Ministry of Textiles, which we can say. Women and Child Development and Textiles Ministry, who currently has the ministry? It is by, under Smriti Irani. So, Smriti Irani currently has the ministry if we talk about, right? Next. Which state government has recently launched Har Ghar Pani, Har Ghar Safai mission, which aims at 100% portable water supply to all the rural households? So to all rural households, Har Ghar Pani, Har Ghar Safai mission has been launched. All right, quick answers for Har Ghar Pani, Har Ghar Safai mission. This has been launched. The video is disturbing sometimes. I'll just switch off the video. I think this is overloading. Yeah, encoding overload is happening. So I'll be switching off the video for some time so that it catches up, right? And once it catches up, then I'll be switching off the video again, right? So just let's give it a minute or two to catch up. All right, answer for this Punjab, that being the right one. Hargar Pani, Hargar Safai mission was launched by Punjab state recently. Now, here we can see a possible question that can arise is who is the chief minister of Punjab because he had inaugurated it. Then, uh, what is the target that we already have 100% portable drinking water? Right. Who is going to fund this? Now, funding is also equally important. So, funding is going to be done by World Bank by Jal Jeevan Mission. So funding is by World Bank, by Jal Jeevan Mission, by NABARD. 
and certain amount of state budget uh, you know compliance is also going to be there so from state budget is also there but other organizations are also involved in funding of this mission next which organization launched world's first commercial rocket powered by biofuel stardust 1.0 Amrinder Singh, Captain Amrinder Singh is the Chief Minister of Punjab. That's right. World's first commercial rocket powered by biofuel. World's first commercial rocket fueled by biofuel. Quick answers. All right. The answer of this question is going to be Blue Shift Aerospace. Blue Shift Aerospace is going to launch world's first commercial rocket, which is going to be powered by biofuel. Now, India is also moving towards biofuel by bringing in ethanol into the picture, increasing the amount of ethanol mixing with petrol, right? That is uh, something that India is also working towards. And the first commercial rocket is by Blue Shift Aerospace. Where is Blue Shift Aerospace of? It is of United States of America, right? Next, who authored the book? The Little Book of Encouragement. Who is the author of the book? The Little Book of Encouragement. Who currently has authored the book, The Little Book of Encouragement? Mm -hmm. All right. This book has been written by Dalai Lama. He has written about how even after COVID-19, there are certain people who have survived that and it's all filled with beautiful quotes. So <coughs> this book has more and more quotes about positivity of life, how to, uh, you know, combat the extremism that is arising about the climate change, about polarity, all of these issues in forms of quotes have been talked about in this book, The Little Book of Encouragement. Now, the editing of the book has been done by Renuka Singh, right? So, we don't have a name over here. Renuka Singh has edited the book, right? Next, when was World Wetlands Day observed? We have just seen this question. It was just visited a few moments back. So quickly answer without an error, World Wetlands Day and the theme for 2021. So what was the theme for 2021 and when was World Wetlands Day observed? Quick answers, all of you. All right, the right answer for the first part, 2nd of February, as we had already talked about in that part. The second one is about the theme, and the theme is wetlands and water. Wetlands and water is the theme of Wood Wetlands Day, right? Now, where was a new species of gecko by the name? Tritodelensis discovered by researchers recently. So researchers had recently discovered a new species of gecko and it has been discovered in which of the following state? In which state is this new uh, species discovered? All right, answers for this question. Uh, we have a few answers. The right one is going to be with Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is the place where the new species of gecko by the name Cryptodactylus uh, aruncalensis have been discovered. Right? Next. When was a trifid established? We have already seen something related to trifid. So the question is when was a trifid established? Quick answers. When was Trifid established? 
All right, we have answers for option E, 1971. The right is 87, option B. 1987, Trifid was established under the Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act, right? And it is a national level corporative body. It's a national level corporative body. Right, then we have a, a 2021 Asian India Hackathon. When was Asian India Hackathon 2021 organized? Asian India Hackathon 2021 was organized in which of the following places? Twenty twenty one Asian Hackathon. All right, answers option B, January twenty seventh to thirty one. Well, the answer is first to third of February. So from first to third of February, there is a thirty six hour long event. A single event for thirty six hours long is being run, and who is organizing it? It is Asian, that is Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and Ministry of Education. Both of them have together started this hackathon, right? Then. When was, uh, what was the estimated capital need of India between 2020 to 2030 for transition towards electric vehicles adoption as per the report of Nitya This is the last question for today. So I would want, I want all of you to answer the question alongside like the video, share the videos so that more and more people can, uh, you know, get benefit from this video. And for those who have not downloaded entry app, you can download the app for everyday update. And uh, we have everyday uh, current affairs segment also that takes place on the same channel. So all you need to do is subscribe to the channel for the daily updates. That is a detailed description. We talk about the events in detail over there. You can download entry app and over there you can take everyday free quiz. The quiz is free and that will help you keep in touch with the news events. Now, estimated capital need of India for transition towards electric vehicles. What is the amount that is uh, taken over or estimated? That is going to be 19.7 lakh crores. That is right. Option B will be the right one. 19.7 lakh crores is the estimation that has been put forward mm -hmm. by Niti Aayog and by Rocky Mountain Institute. Right. And uh, that is for moving more and more because we have to invest in batteries for that. We need lithium also. We need to set up lithium refineries also. We need to set up the infrastructure of charging stations and everything, all of that sort around. So we need a lot of things that need to be developed. And for that purpose, the estimation is currently of 19.7 lakh crores. Right. Now, with this, I'll be taking your leave. So. Thank you so much. It has been wonderful interacting with all of you. Now I'm going to meet you on next Saturday with a more set of questions. And I hope to see more and more of you on that. So we'll see you until then. Goodbye. Take care. Do subscribe the channel for daily updates and download the app for everyday quiz. And there are further other materials which are present and courses. So you can